Hey everyone, Jared Marlowe here, and today we are going to talk about a hidden gem in Henry County that is a perfect demonstration of what like-minded people with a determined purpose can achieve when they set their minds to it. So strap in because we are about to take off and take a look at Henry County's hidden airport. When residents of Martinsville and Henry County think of local airports, the one that most always comes to mind is the Blue Ridge Airport in Spencer. However, there is another airport in Henry County that not too many know about, and its backstory is very interesting. The story of the Lowry Lester Airport dates back to the 1970s. A group of friends who were into flying planes were talking about how much of a pain it was to drive all the way across the county just to get to the local airport to pursue their passion. So, taking matters into their own hands, Larry Washington, Arnold Prilliman, Paul Stanley, and Rick Harris came together and purchased land off of Barrows Mill Road about three miles northeast of Martinsville. It was here where the men constructed their own airstrip, airport, and drew up plans for a subdivision to go on either side of the runway. The pilots also planned for their houses, which were part of the subdivision, to be built with hangars, so ideally, they could leave their house, hop in their plane, taxi out of their hangars, and soon be airborne. The runway was originally constructed to be 3,800 feet long and 100 feet wide, but currently it is 4,000 feet long according to data from the Federal Aviation Administration, and at one time had the potential to be expanded to 6,000 feet. To help fund all of the construction, the remaining lots not used by Washington, Perlman, Stanley, and Harris for their homes would be sold to private individuals who wanted to build there. The only condition the pilots had to potential lot buyers was that in building their homes, the homes had to be more than 1,500 square feet. While having their own airstrip was a dream come true for these men, it was not warmly received by all county and city residents. There was opposition brought against the airport when permits for it were filed in August of 1979. One of the concerns was the adverse effects the airport might have on the Beaver Creek Reservoir, given that it is located less than a mile from the reservoir. Another concern was that the airport would be in competition with the Blue Ridge Airport in Spencer, and would be more convenient for flyers due to its proximity to the city. Washington, Perlman, Stanley, and Harris assured the citizens of the county and city that erosion from construction would not be an issue for the reservoir and that their airport would not offer the same services as the Blue Ridge Airport. And with those promises, the Lowry Lester Airport was born. Construction on the runway and the homes around it began in the fall of 1979 and the airport officially opened in March of 1980. The airport gets its name from Lowry Lawson Lester, the father of Ralph C. Lester, who founded Nationwide Homes and was a pilot in World War II. The airstrip still sees much usage in current times, with many Cessnas and other small engine planes using the runway to do touch and go landings. The airstrip is also a site where life flight helicopters can land for emergency transports. Thank you for watching this video on Henry County's hidden airport, the Lowry Lester Airport. If you like this video, please click the like button and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. Also, please share this video with your neighbors, friends, coworkers, and colleagues who you think might enjoy this. Thanks for watching.